everyone, this is Stephanie here from The Five Waiting Wounds. Um, <clears throat> this week we have some questions from MN Stowe 3 and Nina Loves Fried Chicken. The questions they asked are, what are your opinions on using herbs for fertility purposes? Also, what are the best foods, drinks, vitamins to use for fertility? <clears throat> so, I'm not much of an expert on um, natural methods. I have spoken with um, a naturopath um, one time before. Um, so what I did is I did a little bit of research. So hopefully I can give you some good information. Um, so the natural approach right now to fertility um, has been enormously successful largely because um, there's many elements that can be at the root of fertility problems. Um, so some just general tips um, while trying to conceive are um, maintaining a healthy body weight, so diet and exercise. Um, <clears throat> anybody out there knows that diet and exercise are just generally, um, a, it's just generally a good thing for a healthy lifestyle, especially when you're trying to conceive. Um, this is not the case for all women, but for some women, um, your body weight can affect your fertility. Um, this is not the case for everyone, but it has been shown that some women um, who will lose at least, I think it is about 10% of, um, of their body weight, this is for overweight women, um, will actually see the difference in um, symptoms of infertility, especially if you know you're not having periods or things like that. And so it has been known to increase fertility. Um, also, alcohol can reduce your fertility about half. So the more you drink, the less likely you are to conceive. And I thought it was really interesting because this is especially important for men. I'll, um, uh, with a lot of men, alcohol decreases sperm count, increases abnormal sperm, and lowers the proportion of motile sperm. So this is all according to research, and um, so it's, it also inhabits the body's absorption of nutrients like zinc, which is very important for male fertility. So if you're a man, or if you're a woman who is trying to conceive with a man, it's very important that um, men don't drink a lot of alcohol, especially when trying to conceive, because it's not too good for the little sperm guys. So, um, <clears throat> I've heard it said by many women on YouTube that, um, you know, if men want their sperm to be nice and strong and fast and, and lots of sperm and stuff, they should drink coffee. But actually, um, when I was researching it, I um, found that it's actually quite the opposite. Um, it's important to have less caffeine when you're trying to um, conceive, especially for men, because it's not good for male fertility. It's not good for sperm count, motility, and it also increases abnormalities. Um, I think that anyone out there will know that smoking is not good for you, but it's especially not good for you if you're a female who's trying to conceive. Um, smoking has actually been linked with female infertility. Um, it has been known to bring on early menopause, and even for men, it, it decreases sperm count and makes the sperm more sluggish. So smoking in general when trying to conceive is not a good idea. Now, some supplements um, that are good to take while trying to conceive, folic acid, zinc, which is necessary for, for the body to utilize efficiently reproductive hormones, um, selenium, which prevents chromosome breakage, and chromosome breakage can cause birth defects and miscarriage, and it also maximizes sperm formation. Essential fatty acids, or EFAs, are crucial for healthy hormone functioning, vitamin E and vitamin C. And um, when I was looking at how important vitamin C is, it was quite interesting what I found. Um, vitamin C has been shown to help 
keeps sperm from clumping together, making them more motile. Also, um, women who are taking Clomid, um, it has been shown that the chances are often increased for them to ovulate with taking vitamin C supplementation. So if you're a woman out there who's taking Clomid, um, it's actually very important to get your vitamin C and it has been known to help um, make the Clomid work. Another supplement is L-Arginine. I'm sorry if I get some of these names wrong. Um, this has been shown to help with sperm production. L-Carnitine, it's an amino acid essential for normal functioning of sperm cells and vitamin A. Now, um, they wanted to know what different kind, what kinds of herbs you can use for fertility purposes. Um, these are just some of them. There's Agnes Castus. I think another name for it is Chaseberry, something like that. It helps restore hormone imbalance, and these are some things that it's been known to do. Regulate periods, restart stopped periods, helps prevent heavy bleeding, and increases the ratio of progesterone and oestrogen by balancing excess oestrogen. <clears throat> Another herb is evening primrose oil. It aids in the production of fertile quality cervical fluid. So this is important for some of you women out there who um, have problems with their cervical um, fluid. Um, some women they don't have enough, or it's too dry, or yada yada, so evening primrose oil is good for you ladies. Um, ginseng helps improve male fertility. Um, now I'm sorry if I get this name wrong, it's spelled P-Y-C-N-O-G-E-N-O-L. Pycnogenol, something like that. This has been shown to improve the quality and function of sperm in men with fertility problems by a mean of 38% and 19% respectively after 90 days of use. So this has actually gone to the scientists, they've actually done the research and have found that this particular herb um, has helped men with fertility problems. Um, another herb is Sa Pometo. Sa Pometo. It strengthens male reproductive system. Um, flaxseed oil is good for both male and female fertility. Um, it promotes male fertility and helps stabilize a woman's estrogen and progesterone ratio. Now let's go on to good fertility foods. High calcium foods, eggs, salmon, tuna, Green and orange pico tea has been found to help with fertility. Leafy green vegetables, nuts, whole grains, and fruits with high vitamin C. Foods to avoid when trying to conceive, obviously processed junk foods. Seafood, which has been shown to contain mercury, such as albacore tuna. So too much seafood is not very good because sometimes seafood has mercury in it. So just make sure that you're getting fresh seafoods if you are getting seafoods. Seafoods without mercury because everybody knows mercury is not good for any of us anyways. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers some of the questions at least. And um, keep watching Five Waiting Rooms guys. We're now on Facebook and MySpace so go on there and check us out and become one of our fans and keep sending in your questions guys and your comments and take care guys bye